Hello boys and girls and you're very welcome to the Wicklow Library Storytime and this week we have a very special Halloween special all week so I hope you can join us on the other days. My name is Clodagh and I am here in Grace Stokes Library and as you can see Marguerite has been very busy getting the library ready for Halloween and we've some of our decorations up. So today we've got this great story called Winnie's Amazing Pumpkin and it's written by Valerie Thomas and Corky Paul and we would like to thank Valerie Thomas and Corky Paul and Oxford Press for allowing us to share this wonderful story with you today. Before we read our story, we're going to learn a little song and it's a Halloween song and it's called Halloween is Coming. And I've written it out because I'm only learning it myself. So let's have a go. Halloween will soon be here, soon be here, soon be here. Halloween will soon be here and we will have some fun. Watch witches riding on a broom, on a broom, on a broom. Witches riding on a broom, we will have some fun. Black cats howling on the fence, on the fence, on the fence. Black cats howling on the fence, we will have some fun. Goblins hiding in the dark, in the dark, in the dark. Goblins hiding in the dark, we will have some fun. Trick or treaters everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Trick or treaters everywhere, we will have some fun. Strange things happening all around, all around, all around. Strange things happening all around, we will have some fun. Well, that's an easy song to learn. So I hope you enjoyed it and you'll be able to sing it after Halloween when you get together at home. So it's Winnie's Amazing Pumpkin. Oh, look at the cover. Isn't it fabulous? So we've got Winnie and Wilbur, and they both look very happy. And look at this amazing pumpkin. Oh, so let's find out what this story is all about. Oh, look at the lovely pictures. Oh, there's the witch and there's the pumpkin. Oh, lovely. Now. Yeah. Winnie the witch ate lots of vegetables. She liked broccoli and cauliflower, cabbage and parsnips. She really liked peas and carrots and beans and potatoes and spinach. But she loved pumpkin. She loved pumpkin soup and pumpkin pie, pumpkin scones and pumpkin seeds on top. But most of all, she loved roast pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And Wilbur, her big black cat, he liked pumpkin soup if it had lots of cream stirred in. He's really enjoying his soup, isn't he? Every Saturday morning, Winnie would jump on a broomstick. Wilbur would jump onto her shoulder and they would zoom off to the farmer's market to buy their vegetables. That was easy. But it wasn't so easy coming home. It is hard to balance on a broomstick with a cat, pumpkins and lots of other vegetables. Whoops! Brussels sprouts and tomatoes rained down on the market. Split, splat. Oh, look at the Brussels sprouts and the tomatoes. Blithering broomsticks, shouted Winnie. And then she had a good idea. I'll grow my own vegetables, she said. So Winnie dug a big vegetable patch in her garden. Wilbur helped. She planted lots and lots of vegetables and she watered the plants and she pulled the weeds. Wilbur helped. Look, Wilbur's helping by sitting and I think he's just watching poor Winnie. And look, he's sitting down watching her there. She's doing all the hard work. But the plants grew very slowly. And when they did grow, the caterpillars and the snails and the rabbits ate them. Oh dear, said Winnie. Gardening is very hard work. I'll try a spell to help my garden grow. So she waved her magic wand and she shouted. I think you can help. We all say it together. Abracadabra. But nothing happened. Bother, said Winnie. That didn't work. I will go and look in my big book of spells. And Winnie went inside just a minute too soon because outside 
the spell began to work. Look, everything's growing. Inside, it was very dark. Winnie tripped over Wilbur. Meow. I'm sorry, Wilbur, said Winnie. I didn't see you. It's so dark. There must be a storm on the way. She looked out the window. It wasn't a storm. It was Winnie's garden. The vegetables were growing so fast, they covered all the windows. I'd better go out and stop the spell, Winnie said. But the door wouldn't open. An enormous cabbage was in the way. Winnie rushed upstairs and climbed out the bathroom window and slid down the giant beanstalk. Wilbur climbed down behind her. This is fun, he thought, until he met a giant caterpillar. Ew! Everything in Winnie's garden was enormous, gigantic, stupendous. A beanstalk was growing up into the clouds. The cabbages were as big as cows and the rabbits were bigger than the cows. An immense pumpkin vine was curling around Winnie's house. And there on the roof was a huge pumpkin. Oh no, shouted Wilma. The pumpkin will squash my house. She waved her magic wand, but just as she shouted, Abra, crash. The gigantic pumpkin crashed to the ground and Winnie's enormous, stupendous garden shrank back to the way it was before. But the pumpkin that had been broken off the vine was still massive, monstrous, amazing pumpkin. Winnie chopped a doorway into the pumpkin. She made a pumpkin pies, pumpkin scones, pumpkin soup, whipped cream for Wilmer and an enormous dish of roast pumpkin. But there was still lots of pumpkin left. So she put a notice on the gate and it read, free pumpkin, help yourself. People came with their bowls and their baskets and even a wheelbarrow. And soon the pumpkin shell was empty. What shall I do with the pumpkin shell? Mmm, wondered Winnie. It would make a good house, but I already have a house. One of my friends once changed a pumpkin into a coach, but that was for special occasions and the horse might be a problem. Then Winnie had a wonderful idea. Yes, she said, that's exactly what it looks like. She said, of course. She waved her magic wand, she stamped her foot, and she shouted, we all can say this together, the magic word, abracadabra. <gasps> and there in Winnie's garden was a bright orange helicopter. So now when Winnie and Wilbur go to the market, Winnie can buy as many pumpkins as she likes and flying home in a helicopter is a lot more fun. Look. The end. Oh, look at the lovely pictures that have been drawn of a pumpkin and a cat. We would really love to see your pictures. If you could draw some Halloween pictures and you can drop them here to us at Greystones Library, you just come to the library and leave them in and we will hang them up and you will be helping us to decorate the library and we'd love to see all your pictures. So we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow and we have another great story. And until then, from Greystones Library, bye bye.